Welcome to Car Scene Korea. And today, instead of having a car right in front of me, I have this building. DDP stands for Dongdaemun Digital Plaza. And that's the banner of the event I'll be attending today, which is Green New Deal Expo. I am in charge of Hyundai Motor Group Studio, and they will be having Nexo, two Nexo up there. One dissected, like the ones that we've seen in Hyundai R&D Festival. So it's all dissected, but of course it's all trimmed down so it doesn't, you know, cut you in any way. There's a thermal check and also we are utilizing the QR codes so that we can check where you've been, what time you've been, should there be an incident with the outbreak it's easier for the government to track down and also, you know, isolate you for that matter. And of course, everybody has to have the masks on. And also one more thing, they have this earth clean gate. Also face recognition and let's see, go through there. It's supposed to, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> There's some kind of a wind blowing and it is supposed to sanitize you, I guess. And again, welcome to 2020 Green New Deal Expo. We have those Nexo right here in front of us. Seems like Hyundai has the biggest booth here in the Expo. Again, the dissected Nexo car right there. I've never had the chance to go through this Nexo and do a full review on the car. And these cars are not all that abundant, but now they are on the public streets of Korea. And there's been a Nexo collaboration with BTS that the car is covered up with uh, BTS's autographs. And they gave out BTS goods, which I have, which I have at my home. Well, I haven't had the chance to uh, make an event out of it yet, quite yet. So uh, just stay tuned. So currently 2020, there are 38 stations nationwide. By 2030, 660 and 2040, 1200 stations. And if it's 1,200 stations, that we kind of just saw it, but it fills up entire nation. And probably this is all just a mock setup, and it says, um, don't touch, do not touch. So there is the hydrogen charger for that. All right, so that's the charging station. And with 100% charged, the range 609 kilometers. Just uh, with a one charge, you can travel about 400 miles. It's a pretty good deal, I would say. But again, limited stations in states in North America, pretty much uh, around the globe at the moment. So we'll have to see about that. All right, let's go to safety. How safe? Oh, wow. Okay. You know what, this solves all the questions that we have or anybody has about the hydrogen cars, right? All the myth. This is like the myth buster that they have created right here. Self-explanatory. And they are also, of course, talking about the hydrogen bombs and how it would uh, light up in a regular environment. And it's actually even more safer than any other um, gas-related um, fuels. Throughout the globe, the hydrogen station has been running without any issue for the past decade. All right, let's go to the last one, clean and smart. Throughout the process, it makes combines the hydrogen up in the air and utilizes that to, to create the electricity necessary to run the car. And what the end result is that it actually purifies the air so the more you drive Nexo you're actually saving the environment and um, also another end product that we get is water and by the book it's a 100% pure water that should be I don't know drinkable but I wouldn't really give it a try nobody recommends it so that being said you know I, I kind of want to show it to you there are actually outlets for the water droplets one here one over there and there's supposed to be another big one right in the middle 
of which I don't think I can see at the moment. And once this technology sets in, not just in Korea, but the globe overall, then the cost will go down drastically. Hydrogen is the most abundant element here on Earth. So we have unlimited resource of hydrogen that we can use to convert that into electricity and also well we're just starting with the car but all those all these other booths that we have today they are talking about their technology related with the hydrogen that will better our lives in general because well no doubt we cannot live without electricity right this is nero full electric vehicle the battery cell that's been used on this kia nero is by sk innovations and they've also put out their technology that's the ev cell wow i've never seen it this is so thin multi-tap cells so they put together these cells in multi connections of course and generate the battery pack necessary to run the car Ah, the nice little thing that they've done like this. I wonder if these are run by hydrogen. <laughs> and what's really surprising to me is when we're talking about 17 inch tires to 19, the one thing that stands out the most is the MPG. But when we go back here, the range 609 and 593, that's what 16 kilometers difference. So that's why less than less than that's that's about two percent. So even if you go with the 70, 17 inch tires, or let's say let's let's approach it this way, even if you go with the 19 inch wheels and tires on this Nexo, you only lose about two percent of the capacity of the driving distance and range. That's just outrageous. I hope that they have the 17 up here for the display, but they just have 19s. And as for the tire size, they have thrown on 245, 45, 19 on the front. And so 245, 45, 19 on the front as well. Also, excuse me, it's the rear. So it's a square setup. So pretty much the only thing that you'd be worried about is the price of the tires, but this i saw the tread wear to be 540 and honestly that's good for at least at least good 30,000 miles i would say you know you drive it on a regular daily commuters i just don't see any reason why to go to the 17 except for the fact when you're talking about the drivability and the ride comfortableness of the car itself then i would say you know just go with the 19 the wheels look better awesome and i'm pretty sure i mean i am 100 percent sure that this has been designed in aerodynamic matter so that it will increase the driving distance you know i kind of uh, keep on trying to say that mpg kind of stuck to my you know mouth but saying mpg on this car does not apply no more say hello to the future and also what's really notable on this nexo is this headlight they call it horizontal positioning lamps and this is how you would see it during the nighttime so that's the headlight this really really stands out on the public roads you see this car in your rear view mirror you immediately know that there is a nexo approaching you from behind and one more thing is this auto flush door handle quite a long name for a doorknob or door handle but it's self-explanatory it fits right in until you unlock the car it pops out you can open up a door but yes it is well strictly speaking does not disturb the airflow so i.e it adds on to the driving distance you know you don't have you have less resistant but it's it's quite minimal we know we we know we all know about that but it's very nice touch of hyundai because they've gone through a meticulous touch and process of developing this function and integrating this into the car obviously so they have implemented this doorknob door handle all around and that being said most of the thing that we see on this nexo 
is next so explicit let's just talk about the side mirrors and repeaters as well this we can find it on the rear back of the car so they got that design from that one no other hyundai car used that design whatsoever it goes the same with the headlight the drl the bumper the grill everything and again hyundai is not expecting to make a lot of money off of this car well because it's a, the quantity itself is very limited and not many people are going to be buying i mean a lot of people are lined up to get this car investing into this modern day high technology eco-friendly that's how we get to see nexo and that's how we only have three manufacturers all around the globe that are currently developing and is actually manufacturing a reliable car and as for the interior they have utilized the eco-friendly material starting with the leather and also this is really abundant and mostly found on the latest hyundai cars but given that nexo came out about two years ago this utilized shift by wire type of button that can utilize this uh, center tr center console because there is no transmission on this car so they've utilized the space to the maximum like so there are charging cables inside right here and also other outlets right there they are not missing out the entertainment system within the car as well they have the Krell premium sound added on this car and last but not least so just like my Veloster N, it has the camera right there that is utilized for the HDA along with the camera here and the sensors and I wonder where the radar is but I'm pretty much they utilize this and that for the HDA mostly when it comes to deciding what car to purchase it comes down to the price the price tag on this car matters the most but again, if the car itself is reasonable as long as the price meet, then there is a very good cause behind this car. Again, 100% eco-friendly. This does not emit any pollutants whatsoever. And also, while you're driving the car, you're purifying the air. Also shown in the infotainment system, depending on how long you've been driving the car, it kind of tells you, you know, how much air you have purified throughout the drive. So you're actually adding on to the environment. So the more hydrogen car we see on the roads and streets, you know, the cleaner earth is going to get. This car being an SUV, you could stretch it out like so. Not so sure if it's a full flat, but it's certainly doable. Here in Korea, this is really a big thing lately, but they call it cha bak. And that's like sleeping inside your car. And there are a lot of locations and places that you could do so. This is definitely a game changer. And this is the next futuristic car. I mean, we're seeing the future right in front of us. All right, so that being said, thanks for tuning in. Big shout out to Hyundai and 2020 Green New Deal Expo. And last but not least, Nexo. I'll see you on the next video.